there, I'm Shannon, and I tend to be one of those people that do not handle disappointment well at all. Seriously, anytime something mildly not okay happens, I either feel like I'm going to die or it's the worst thing that could possibly happen to me in the entire world. And I know I'm not the only one who's like this. I'm not pointing any fingers at any fandoms. Please don't kill me. I know a lot of you are probably scared for my safety now, and to be honest, I am too. So anyways, this video is going to be about perspective, and I am going to take you guys on a wild journey back to one of the actual worst experiences of my life. So to preface the story just a little bit, uh, this was about a year ago in the summer, and I was going to go on vacation with my mom, my sister, her best friend, and my significant other at the time, who we're just gonna call... Alex for now, that sounds like a good name. So we all decided that we were gonna go to Georgia to go to Six Flags and take a walking tour of the Walking Dead sets. However, after we planned this, I had to have somewhat of like emergency, not really emergency, but it was very on the spot surgery on my knee, so I was on crutches for like two months. So I knew going there that this was not going to be a fun time for me, but I wanted to go just because I knew this was something that Alex was really going to enjoy and I was just gonna suffer through the fact that I was gonna be wheelchair bound the whole time. So we get there and we check into our hotel and of course the first thing that could possibly go wrong does. We get to our room and it is just awful. Next thing we know with no warning a swarm of man-eating bees just flies out of the curtains and of course everybody runs out of the room except for me because I can't walk. And it only gets worse from here. So the next day we go to Six Flags which I by doctor's orders cannot ride any of the rides and every single ride I got shoved in the gift shop, or even worse, just left in like the middle of a concrete like slab on the ground to bake in the sun in my wheelchair. And without exaggerating at all, this one kid, he comes up to me, kicks my wheelchair, and goes, you're in a wheelchair. I was so frustrated at that moment that I couldn't walk. The one time that I needed to kick someone's ass hardcore, I was stuck in a wheelchair. It was whatever, I didn't really care. So that whole day ends, and I I decided that I wanted one whole thing, and that was to choose where we ate dinner. My mom, my sister, and her friend were all fine with this, and I chose a Cajun place because it was Georgia, so I figured it would be okay. This was probably the best part of the whole vacation by a long shot. We're all sitting at dinner, you know, chilling out, doing whatever. I was actually having a good time for the first time on this vacation and I wasn't really sure what time it was. So uh, I casually reach over for Alex's phone to check the time. As soon as I reach over to grab the phone to check the time, it is immediately ripped out of my hands with the force of the Hulk. And I was just really confused. The whole rest of dinner, every time that Alex would check their phone, they would put it face down on the table. So obviously everyone was a little confused and I realized that in front of me on this vacation that I was paying for them, they were cheating on me while I was in a wheelchair. They end up storming into the restaurant because it, we were seated outside and going down the stairs, which I could not go down to go to the bathroom. And they stayed in the bathroom for a solid half an hour before everybody got concerned. My sister and her friend go down, leaving me alone with my mom at the table, and they don't come back for like another 20 minutes, and nobody knows what's going on at this point. So my mom texts my sister and is like, Bailey, what is taking so long? We get a text back from my sister that Alex is lecturing my sister outside the bathroom about how she should never grow up to be like me because I'm so self-centered and terrible. So basically everybody ended up laughing off this vacation because it was shitty all around. And yeah, so that is the story of the vacation from hell. I actually don't even remember why I made this video anymore. Oh yeah, perspective. All right, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. And before I go, I have to announce the winners for my contest last week. So drum roll please. The winner of the extension giveaway is eyeliner underscore freak. Your comment was super sweet and I enjoyed reading all of your comments. If you are eyeliner underscore freak, please message me on my YouTube account, just on my YouTube account, nothing else, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can within the next day or two. And we will talk about what you want to do with the extensions and when you want to Skype me. Alright, make sure you subscribe. Let's see if we can get this video to 1.5k likes in the next week because that would be super awesome and it helps me out a lot. 
I love you so, so much, and I will see you next week, kitties. Bye.